Welcome to the sixth video of the Foundry's Camera Tracker for After Effects 101 training series. In this video we'll be looking at applying what's been covered so far to another example. We've got this clip shot along Eastbourne. As you can see we have some manky tracks up in the sky uh, hooked up to things like on the birds and on the surf which are generally not going so well. These guys for example are going against the grain of the movement. It's not too bad but before we do anything else let's improve. Now I could go and sketch some shapes, but because I'm lazy and I'll do pretty much anything to avoid roto, I'm going to try something else. Now the map inputs don't actually care what you use to create the image you feed into them, so this gives us access to the usual powerful range of AE tools and effects for generating them. In this case, it will look like a luma key will do a really nice job since we've got high luma over here and low luma over here. So let's grab this layer and just quickly duplicate it grab the low one and delete the camera tracker off him and just find ourselves the luma key okay so drop that on here how have i just dropped that on the wrong one yep so let's cut him off and put him on here solo this layer so we're just looking at this one and let's say we want to key out the brighter areas because we don't want the sky really so let's drag this guy up until we've got roughly the level we want. So we don't have to be too precise on this. Let's just beef up our edges a bit, bit eat it away. All we're trying to avoid is getting those birds and getting the surf. So this looks like it's going to do a pretty good job for me. So once again, pre-compose, moving all the attributes inside the pre-composition. This now means we can pop into our camera tracker and take our matte layer alpha and specify our pre-composition and then turn on preview features so we can see what points it's going to use oh turn off solo okay i've got that the wrong way around so let's go matte inverted alpha and there we go we've got feature points lying all over the region we're interested in right so i'm going to hit track again let this run through and track and i'll be back in a second once it's done Okay, so just dragging along here. Looks like it's done a much better job of avoiding picking up sky elements, so I'm going to hit solve. So that was pretty good. Let's quickly check out what our stats look like. So I'm just going to pop into my refine tab and bring up my frame error toggle. Okay, let's just strip this guy down a few points and then our per frame error max will do the same thing for bring that guy down to right about there. Okay, so if we delete all of those and then go in and resolve. down to 0.8, that looks pretty good to me. So for the final thing, let's just check our actual solve by popping in a white solid I prepared earlier, Blue Peter style, on our ground plane. Of course I haven't actually set my ground plane, so I'll just have to go and do that. Grab a few points. So let's make this guy my ground plane origin, and then these two make them sit on the x-axis and then create my scene and let's just tweak the rotation on my ground plane here that looks pretty good to me so now I'm going to round preview 